Hey guys, so I got this cool email from a Medicare agent that makes cold calls that she was able to create nine sales in one week using a very simple cold calling strategy that I taught her that I wanna share with you guys. So my name is David Duford, I own Duford Insurance Group. I train to recruit agents nationally to sell final expense Medicare and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. If you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much for watching. So I got this email from Miss Diane and uh, she found an old video of mine where I talked about a cold call script that's real simple, really direct, and gets great results. And she adapted it towards her Medicare supplement outbound cold calling and uh, reported that she had written nine total sales in one week and uh, had some interchange with her. I actually thought she was uh, pulling my leg <laughs> originally and uh, got some more information from her. And here's exactly the script that she's using and the kind of response that she's getting. So her script reads, Hey, Mrs. Smith, this is Diane, and we help people with Medicare and life insurance. Would you like to learn more? That's it. It's that simple. And what she's found and discovered is that the response from that simple script is entirely positive and upbeat for those people who are actually interested. Now, why is this the case? Uh, Diane and I kind of went back and forth. And I think, number one, uh, if we look at the start of the call, even before the person says hello, her name is on the caller ID and her actual phone number is as well. So instead of spoofing the number or using a Skype number or Google Voice number, she's actually using her real life phone number. So her real life name shows up on it as well. So there's the sense of sincerity, I guess you could say, that maybe sometimes we, including myself, overlook when we you know, look at making outbound calls and that kind of thing. And so when somebody picks up the phone and sees Diane Smith, they see that she's actually talking about herself. It's crazy, right? The second thing that's cool is that she gets right to the point. There's not some elaborate, manipulative script to get people off kilter and to get them into kind of a, a back and forth type of scenario in a conversation. It's a very direct to the point script. Again, hi, Ms. Smith, this is Diane, and we help people with Medicare and life insurance. Would you like to learn more? And what happens is people immediately recognize this is an unusual script. Uh, they're not used to this directness and they either answer yes and uh, volunteer themselves for a longer conversation or answer no and they politely hang up the phone and then Diane goes on to the next call. Um, she's uh, going back and forth here in the call. Um, all she's doing is calling if you're interested, a uh, turning 65 type of market um, just spending money on a cold call list, using a dialer to do it. And she says here they've said they loved actually talking to an agent and uh, are really seriously uh, super excited, I guess in a sense, to talk to somebody who's up front and gets to the point right away. So um, there was one thing I would add to this. I did mention to Diane to consider uh, to enhance this, and we call this a restraint statement or a restraining statement. Now, I learned this script, I think I learned it from Claude Whitaker, so if you ever wanna look up his stuff on YouTube, he's got a small little channel, it's very good. His books are excellent, you can buy them on Amazon. And the restraint statement would sound something like this. Hey, Mrs. Smith, this is Diane, and we help people with Medicare and life insurance, but only if you're on a fixed income. Would you like to learn more? So what a restraint statement does in the cold call script is it basically isolates out who exactly you wanna speak with it kind of restrains or niches that statement down. Because you could argue a lot of people you know, would want life insurance or would want Medicare. But if you restrain it or take it away a little bit or make it a spe more special type of target market you're going after, if the person matches that, they're gonna be that much more inclined to talk to you. You might hear a few more no's, but you'll get a lot more solid yeses because when you add that restraint statement of, but only if you're on a fixed income, that's gonna to talk to a lot of people and the perception about their own economic situation. So one thing I would suggest too, is if you use this script cold calling, say for Medicare business or life insurance business or whatever, you can take the general strategy and, and cultivate it. It's, it's uh, customizable. The one thing I would suggest is start without the restraint statement. See what you can get just by a simple setup like what we've described. And then if you find yourself a really busy 
or maybe you're talking to unqualified people for some, uh, some reason or another, use a simple restraint statement to further qualify in a sense as you start to talk to them. Uh, and I think you'll find some pretty good results with this. So uh, give it a shot if you like the idea. It's, it's so simple, it's so dumb and simple <laughs> that it really works. But I think it comes down to sincerity, it comes down to you being direct, it comes down to not having to feel like you're gonna you know, headlock somebody into a conversation. And the people who willingly submit themselves are saying they're interested and they want to talk to you. So I think it's a completely different experience. So try it out, let me know how it goes, put some comments in the chat. Let everybody know exactly uh, what the experience is like. And thanks so much for watching. I hope this gives you a little bit of uh, ideas on how to make more effective your cold calling strategies for any kind of insurance sales. Y'all take care. Thanks.